Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. In my hand is a solenoid off of my 1979 Ford Fairmont. Now this particular solenoid has been used by Ford forever and it is called a divorced solenoid, meaning it is not mounted directly to the top of the starter. However, it works exactly the same way as the kind that is mounted to the top of the starter. It's just a little bit different. In today's video, I'm going to open this thing up, show you what's inside, and we're gonna talk about how starter solenoids work and why they go bad. Before we get started, I just want to illustrate once again that this is a starter and this one has the solenoid attached. Everything that you see in this video with the solenoid that I'm taking apart is the exact same thing as this guy right here. The only difference being is these are the two posts sticking out in this direction instead of on either side. This would go up to the positive battery terminal and this goes down into the starter to help turn the starter. This is the signal wire coming in here. So when you turn the key, the signal goes into here it uh, closes the circuit inside of here and power will flow from the battery directly to the starter this way. So everything you see in this video works the same with a starter like this one. One last little tip, if you wanted to uh, take this starter apart, you put, remove these fasteners and pull it apart this way is how you would get one of these apart. Different solenoid styles have different ways of coming apart, but that's how this one comes apart. A starter solenoid is basically a glorified relay that handles a lot of amps. Uh, as you can see, we've got, uh, well, we've got a battery input coming into this side, and this is the cable that leads down to the starter. This is what activates the plunger that comes down and makes the connection between these two posts on the inside. It's frightfully simplistic in how it works. If you understand the relationship between electricity and magnetism, basically what they're doing is they're creating a magnetic field inside of here uh, that causes this plunger to come down and make the connection between these two larger posts. So whenever current is run through here, it activates a magnetic field. That magnetic field pull this, pulls this down. These two things get connected. The starter spins over. It really is that simple. And as I said, this may be one that's outside of the car that's divorced, but this is exactly how the ones work that are mounted at the top of the starter. Let's have a look inside. Now that we've opened it up, let's see what's inside. Some old crusty stuff and we, we can now see why this uh, had failed. So you've got this cover. Then you've got this copper disc and this spring. Actually, there's two springs here. There's one spring on the bottom here and there's one spring on the top. And in here, you can see how this is connected to this post and this is connected to this post. Way down inside here, this part, in fact, we can take this apart further and take apart the electromagnet part of it, uh, but that's where this plunger goes inside. So this plunger goes in here when current flows through here, it activates this magnet and takes this disc and pulls it up to make contact with those two posts. So when you turn the key, or sometimes when you turn the key and you just hear a click, that's what you're hearing. Now, the, way, the reason these go bad is because over time, you can actually see it quite clearly on this one. You see this disc and how it's all pitted and beat up and the same thing with these contacts. There's a, you know, a lot of electrical current that's passing through here uh, when this activates. And over time, it just wears these out. Now what you can do, what you could do, is you could take this apart and flip this disc around the other way and start with a brand new disc and even do the same with these. So in other words, take these apart and then rivet the whole thing back together and you just recondition the solenoid. So if you wanted to recondition your starter solenoid, this is what you're after because most of the time this is what happens. This gets so pitted up and this in here gets pitted up to the point where it no longer makes good contact, current does not flow through it well, and therefore you get this. And no starter turning over. Interesting how just taking that nut off clean those posts up really nicely. All right, I think instead of getting violent, violent, I'm just going to take it over to the vise. Mm, it's breaking. It's 
broken anyway, and I've already replaced it. So these appear to be sort of glued into place. This is intentional, and know that I've already replaced it with a, a known good one. That one's out. Okay, you can see how pitted up and worn away that has become over time. How many times this disc has come down onto here. Whoops, goodbye spring. The spring is basically there as a return spring, so once the electromagnetic, uh, the electromagnetic magnet is done, this is designed to push it back away so that it doesn't make contact. You don't want this in contact all the time. And this is why when you hit a starter with a, with a hammer, that you can sometimes get it to start because what that does is it moves this disc into a slightly different position. So when you're tapping on it, this disc will move into a slightly different position and possibly get to a point where it's making better contact again. Uh, but you can clearly see what happens. So over time, this disc touching this will eventually wear in together. All right, now let's see if we can get the solenoid out of here. Looks like it might be fastened at the top here. I'm not sure. Then again, we're we're pretty much at that point anyway. So there it is. You see all these little metal windings in here? That's what makes this work. Whenever you run electricity through a conductor, it creates a magnetic field around the outside. And it's normally a weak magnetic field, but you can intensify that magnetic field by coiling it up like this. Even more if you can put it over the top of an iron core. That makes the magnetic field even more intense. So all that's happening in here when you turn the key is current is coming into here, into that little piece there, through that little wire, basically energizing this coil on the inside and creating that magnetic field. That magnetic field then takes the plunger and draws it up inside. When this is drawn up inside, makes contact with the posts, which we're going to crudely put back into place. So we actually ended up with a, with a cutaway. This other spring is sort of like a damper so that it doesn't slam so much. So there's the spring in action. So this spring is there to push it back away when it's done. And this spring is to sort of dampen it when it, when it goes back, when it's undone. But you can clearly see how this works now. There we are. Similar to the other one, there's an electromagnet inside. There's a plunger. When that pulls on this style, it also engages the starter drive gear, which is this. So this, when it moves, is also kicking the drive gear out. I believe this is also called a Bendix. If you were wondering where the ground circuit is, I know I was showing you the power inlet, but this is bolted directly to the engine and grounds to the engine. On the other one, that little tab that comes over the top and bolts to the body, that's where that one grounds. All right, I'll cut it open. I was trying to do a quick demo for you, but I think this might be shorted internally because you know I cleaned this up. I got a ground path, but it's every time I try to activate it, it's just not activating. So I have a feeling this is bad anyway. Let's cut it open. <laughs> doesn't use a disc it uses this piece here that makes contact in there but it's the same thing so when this is pulled up by the electromagnet it comes into there and makes contact like it's pretty pitted up in there and also that gets pretty pitted up and that's what happens over time and that's a lot of the reason why these won't work any longer it's because of those contacts inside there uh, wearing out. It works just like the other one, except for this one also has the added part where it goes into the gear drive of the starter. A little disc down in here. That part which seems to hold it together, these were 
cut some of the windings. See the same thing. There's all these windings on the inside of it. And then as you activate that, that creates a magnetic field and pulls this out closed. And there that, <coughs> that same plunger as we saw before. The inside of this type of starter solenoid, which is, you can clearly see is very similar. So I went and grabbed the old one so that you could see it. Plunger, windings, windings, plunger, same thing. I hope that was educational and entertaining. That was my intent with this video. And now you have a better idea of how the starter solenoid works. So you know what happens whenever you're turning the key in your vehicle. Pretty cool, right? You also know why that little hammer trick works. I'll put links in the description to additional videos, including that relay video that I mentioned so you can see how relays work and what they look like inside also. Also, any additional information I'll link down there as well. If you have automotive questions, I ask that you head to airthecarguy.com. Yep, that's right. There's also a link for that in the description. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.